guys, hey YouTube. Um, this video is going to be for the guys that did a 3.4 swap and uh, used the uh, factory e the factory automatic ECU and have done a 5 speed swap. Um, what you're looking at here is three resistors that I used to make the, the um, automatic ECU think the automatic transmission was still back there. Um, they're soldered in. I think they're basically I think these are random. This is a random plug that I found, so I could just plug it right into the harness if I needed to remove it. And um, they're wired. So you've got one side is your ground, and the other three are the three shift solenoids inside the, in, that would be inside the transmission. And I've just got those wires that are cut, and um, basically repin repin them into the to the to, to the female side of the plug. And um, decided to tear everything apart today because I've got a leaky valve cover but this is the um, transmission plug uh, wonderful wonderful lighting oh, you can't even see that oh, here it is this is the uh, this is the plug that goes into the transmission and this plug plugs right into it so I was able to reuse it but um, those are the resistors that you want those will get get rid of the uh, the shift codes that, that or your the solenoid codes that your transmission or your ECU will see after you've done a five-speed swap. So these that's the uh, colors and I tried to get a um, resistor reading off of them but I am pretty sure these are uh, quarter watt um, resistors and uh, resistance I think it's 0 .5, 0 .45 or um, I'm not too sure. I'll see if I can do this. There you go. 0.463, and it is on that setting. So quarter watt resistor. There's your uh, ohms. There's that, and you will be able to get your rig up and running without any codes, without any um, lump mode or anything. Some people get lucky, and they don't have to worry about lump mode, or they don't have to worry about anything. I don't know how that works for them, but um. They're fortunate because I had the problem that my truck ran pig rich and it was blowing smoke all over the place. So if you need any help figuring out what your wires are or anything, what your wire colors are, um, comment in the section below and I'll see if I can see what I can do. Thanks.